Helsinki is one of the coolest places to live, in my humble opinion. But just stating that isn't enough. That's why I want to give you five solid reasons in no particular order why I love this place so much, despite the extreme cold and dark of winter. Water is life. We can't survive very long without it. For most places in the West, the primary way of getting water is through the tap or buying bottled water. The reason why people still buy bottled water in certain countries despite having access to tap water is because it doesn't taste very good. You might as well drink chlorine straight out of the bottle and it might taste a little better. That was a joke. Please don't do that. Drinking tap water here is a privilege. It's crisp, cold, and doesn't taste like absolute garbage. In fact, Finnish tap water is amongst the purest in the world. It's hard to describe without having something to compare it to. I had a come to Jesus moment when I was in Berlin in 2021. A friend hosted me for a couple days and it was my first time in Germany. There was a particular moment when I went into the kitchen and poured myself a glass of water. I didn't didn't think much of it. It was an action I repeated daily in Helsinki. Then I took a sip. My body acted without my consent and spat out the water straight away. It was horrendous. The aftertaste is better left in my memory. All that to say, I have clearly been spoiled with how good the tap water is here. But why is it so good? The secret behind the quality lies in the country's natural resources. Finland has thousands of lakes and a vast network of groundwater sources, which provide the basis for tap water production. This country has strict water protection policies and regulations that make sure the water stays pure throughout the whole process. Unlike in many other countries, Finnish tap water is chlorinated only as a precautionary measure to prevent bacteria growth in the pipes. This means the tap water actually tastes amazing. You're not constantly tasting chlorine, which is more than I can say for a lot of other places. People happily drinking water out of the tap has the unintended consequence of reducing the amount of bottled water being bought. Why buy bottled water when you can just fill a reusable bottle with tap water that is at the very least as good and probably better. This means there are fewer plastic bottles being thrown on the floor. Empty cans and all kinds of bottles, especially alcoholic ones, have a price tag attached to them. Gather enough of these at a festival, music event or party and you could make an absolute killing. Which is what people do. At big outdoor events you will always find someone walking around with a plastic bag picking up empty cans and bottles, which are then taken to a machine housed in many grocery stores. almost like what what is that almost five euros of just two bags that's pretty cool i was basically able to go to the store with no money by just giving in my bottles i was able to buy some milk and some juice <laughs> At the right event, some of these folks could feasibly make hundreds of euros in a few hours. So you finish drinking a Red Bull. Instead of throwing it in the trash, you recycle it yourself or you just leave it near the trash can. Someone will pick it up. It's free money. It keeps the streets clean and someone else's pockets a little less empty. That genuinely blew my mind when I first arrived. Couple that with incredible waste management, a general sense of environmental awareness, plenty of green spaces, low population density and efficient public services like street cleaning and you get one of the best managed and cleanest cities out there. Since 
as we're talking about aesthetics, we can't mention how great this place is without bringing up nature. spent the majority of my life over the last five years in the city and you know what in all that time I have never felt disconnected from nature you can walk almost anywhere and you will inadvertently stumble across some kind of park trees garden or protected green space you name it once you leave the city however all you'll see are forests the amount of greenery all around plays an important role in making the city feel natural and organic as though the buildings themselves grew out of the ground several aspects are at play here one of them is the fact that Finnish culture is very much in awe of nature it values nature and natural resources going ice swimming walking out in the forest hunting and a bunch of other things are very much a part of the culture someone once went so far as to tell me that they don't even flavor their food with any spices except salt because they only want to taste the natural flavor in the food but yeah we'll agree to disagree on that one something else to consider is the natural geography of this country There are thousands of lakes and an unending sea of forests. Helsinki also has some really strict environmental policies to protect natural habitats and biodiversity. I mentioned it earlier, but a lower population density also puts a limit on how much the city can sprawl and how quickly. There's way more to all of this, but the point is this, that you can be in the city and still find places to be lost in nature, which is such a pleasure. We even talk about how cool the city is without mentioning public transport. I don't think so. I have been absolutely spoiled by how efficient, clean and reliable the public transport is. I don't think I'll ever need a car if my life remains in the city. There's almost nowhere I can't get to with public transport, both short distance and long distance. Creating an efficient transport network plays a big part in making city life a dream or a nightmare. Some places do it terribly. I remember being in LA a couple of years ago, I was completely fed up with the public transport. It was so unreliable in certain areas, it was almost always better to have your own car or to call a taxi service like Uber. Helsinki not being a sprawling metropolis makes it much easier to build transport routes that make sense. Depending on where you're going and what time, you can take a bus, metro, tram, or train. If you're a little extra and it's not winter, you can take one of those scooters, walk or cycle. I find the pricing for public transport to be quite reasonable. I just pay for the monthly ticket, which makes it very convenient, allowing me to take whatever I want when I want it. The transport feels smoother and more efficient than in other cities like Stockholm, for example. Within the city, it's not often I have to wait longer than 10 minutes for a bus. And even that is a long time to wait. As public transport is, it wouldn't mean much if the city itself was unsafe. I'm 32 years old now as of filming this, so I'm pretty young. However, the older I've gotten, the more I've started valuing safety and security over a lot of things. I like taking risks. Heck, moving to this country was a massive risk, but my bodily safety is not something I like to gamble on. For a long time living in South Africa, growing a pair of eyes on the back of my head was normal. I haven't been robbed at knife point on multiple occasions. I looked at most people with a tiny bit of suspicion. Walking down the street at night was a nightmare. It's strange thinking about it now because life is so 
different, but I do recall the hyper awareness. I wouldn't even walk with my phone out in certain areas. As amazing and as beautiful as South Africa is, there is no denying that crime drastically reduces the quality of life. It was only when I moved here that I realized what a difference feeling safe makes to your life. My first experience of that was about three months into living in Helsinki. I went to a bar club for the evening, but it was only the next day that I realized my wallet was no longer in my pocket and I somehow managed to get it back. I've had many more experiences like this since then. I even once forgot my laptop on a bus and it still came back to me. I know I talk positively about Finland most of the time, but there is good reason for it. There's so much good here worth protecting and celebrating. Like any other place, it's it's not perfect, but there's so much negativity in the world and people are drawn to it. News sells best when it's terrible. But living here has taught me the skill of hyper-focusing on the good. Any random person can find something to complain about. People do it all the time. That's why their lives always go from one bad year to another. To be clear, there is nothing wrong with pointing out an issue. That is how things get better. But I'm personally done with looking at the glass as half empty. There is so much to be grateful for in life. Existence itself is a mystery and unfathomable gift. My gratitude goes far beyond living in Helsinki, but living here gives me a lot to be grateful for. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you liked it, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. I, it really helps. And if you want to follow me on other platforms, I write a weekly Substack, and I've got a podcast called Easy Vibes. It's all in the description. So thank you so much. I'd love to hear some of your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time. Bye.